Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, it's all about a dog's life. Can pugs and cats get along and live together? If you're looking to pair a dog with your cat, selecting the breed is very important as some breeds simply do not gel so well to say the very least. However, we have some good news. Pugs are quite compatible with felines. And before we take a look at what makes pugs such a wonderful match, let's first explore today's topic overview. Pugs are gentle with a playful, loving temperament. As a result, a pug is unlikely to show aggression toward a cat. The opposite is likelier. If a pug is too docile, it may fall victim to a dominant cat. Equally, clingy pugs may demand more of an owner's attention than a cat is willing to share. Ensure they're treated equally to avoid jealousy. Oh, that jealousy. Oh, that jealousy. <laughs> that can get you somewhere. While there's no such thing as a sure bet and a perfect pair and compatibility is never a guarantee, especially when you consider that every cat and every pug has a unique and very special personality. When it comes to breed and breed alone, pugs are a pretty good choice. And speaking of a good choice, we thank you for choosing Senior Cat Wellness. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're joining us for the very first time, hello and welcome. And thank you all for being the best audience on the feline wing of the internet. We appreciate all of the love and support. We hope that you find today's content both enjoyable and informative. And we thank you for making Senior Cat Wellness everything that it has become. We are only as good as our audience, and we've got the best around. Thanks again for taking time out of your day to join us, and we do hope to see you again down the road. Now, cats and pugs, can they live together in peace and become best buds? Let's take a closer look. Cats and dogs can go together like oil and water if the pairing is wrong, and no amount of training can fix what instincts have chosen to divide. And naturally, the larger the dog, the bigger the issue in some cases. Compared to even the largest domestic cats, dogs are big and very loud. At the same time, cats and dogs can make for the best of friends. It's really all about personality, territory, boundaries, and aggressiveness. There are several battles that you'll have to fight as an owner to find the perfect recipe. And with that said, pugs to the rescue. <laughs> They're small compared to many dog breeds, and they are naturally, well, they naturally have a gentle disposition. So right there, you're looking at placing two points in the win column. Not intimidating and generally not very aggressive. Compared to, say, the golden retriever, the ultimate dog friend that is often used as the benchmark, for chilled behavior and friendship for felines. Pugs, well, they're right up there, perhaps even a close second or number one in some respects. Another notch in the win column is that pugs are more likely to befriend your cat than chase it. So, I think you could see what is shaping up here. The relationship could boil down to how your cat views the dog, as your cat will likely give the final yay or nay. Will your cat tolerate a live and let live approach at the bare minimum? Because it's fairly safe to say that, with the exception of a few times, or a few personalities, I should say, that the pug will be all about the peace. Generally speaking, you'll have a worst-case scenario of a situation where a cat and the pug, well, they'll just sort of be passing in the night. <laughs> they'll live under the same roof, but pretty much ignore each other. While that is not ideal, hey, it certainly beats the alternative of a lot of fighting and plenty of drama. At best, well, at best, you're talking about a quality tag team. The best animals will play together, sleep near each other, and otherwise just live a peaceful and respectful and very fun life together. Pugs can be quite trusting, almost too trusting. This opens the door to what is often a rare case. Many times when you talk about a dog and a cat under the same roof, the intimidation concern is the dog will be too aggressive and perhaps even harm the cat. So the main objective becomes finding the best dog that will be peaceful. Because pugs can be so trusting, you could find yourself in a rather unique situation where your cat is getting the best of the pug. The alpha cat taking advantage of a somewhat beta pug. As the pug attempts to make friends, that olive branch could be met with aggression from the cat. In the case of a pushover pug, the dog could become very clingy to you. Your cat could soon develop more disdain for the dog, and your feline could feel that the dog has taken you away from them. Thus, 
introducing a battle for attention. We mentioned earlier that there's no such thing as a sure thing. One of the notable negatives could be that a pushover and clingy pug with your cat calling all of the shots. Yeah, that's, that's a bad recipe, sometimes in a very hostile and aggressive manner. While this is a fairly perfect match, all things considered, please keep in mind that Rome wasn't built in a day, as we like to say. Make sure that your pug isn't just rolling over for your cat, and make sure that your cat isn't playing the role of the aggressor. Finding common ground is the key, and giving both animals equal attention is very, very important. Let's take a few moments to highlight some fairly basic personality traits for both a cat and a pug. While every animal is indeed different in their own unique and special way, there are some baseline factors at play that can ring true across the board. We hope the following personality traits can give you a basic idea as to what you could possibly expect from a cat and pug pairing. Let's start on the cat side of life. They are independent by nature and they're happy to be alone. They don't demand and really need your attention, especially once a routine has been established. The pug, on the other hand, very clingy, and they may grow increasingly anxious and even destructive, perhaps, when they're left alone. On the cat side of things, uh, they expect to be fed according to a schedule. It's dinner time, I say. <laughs> but uh, they really may not care too much about the human food, especially those dessert snacks. A pug, on the other hand, hey, food is food is food. Greedy pugs will eat their way through anything and everything that they can get their paws on. Cats, well, they'll seek out attention, but they'll do it on their terms. Any cat owner knows. <laughs> they'll decide when the affection time is, that affection window has opened. A pug, on the other hand, well, they need to be the center of attention at all times, demanding constant pets. Back on the cat side of life, uh, they would rather dance to the beat of their own drum and sleep the day away up to 16 hours in some, in some cases. Pugs, on the other hand, they're curious and playful all the day long, especially as a puppy. Cats, it's not impossible, but any cat owner can tell you they're a little bit hard to train. They have really no interest in being trained and they'll sort of do whatever the heck they want to do. <laughs> the pug, on the other hand, they uh, sort of live to please their owners. They are quick to be trained, and especially if a reward is involved at the end. On the cat side of life, they can live indoors, and they can also wander free outside. It all depends on the established habits and your environment and your property. You know how that goes. It's unique to you and your situation. And finally, back on the dog side of life, the pug will need to be walked outside at least once per day on a leash. And ideally, the pug will need to be walked Several times, these long walks, these long walks on the beach, <laughs> these romantic walks. Now, you get the drift, you get the idea. So those are the core differences about what you would expect from a cat and dog pairing. And it is certainly worth repeating. Personality, personality, personality. It's fair to say that maybe some of you, probably a lot of you, <laughs> did a few head shakes when I was going over the feline generalizations. You were thinking, hey, not sure what this guy's talking about. That's not my cat. My cat doesn't behave that way. And you'd, you'd be right. Hey, those points really don't apply <laughs> too much to my cats either. However, by and large, let's, let's be real about it. There is a baseline assumption for cats. And I think we've all known cats that fit some stereotypes like a thick sweater in cold December, right? I guess the uh, take all message is that a pug will demand your attention and affection. And they also want their meals whenever they can get them. And if uh, a cat sleeps the world away, well, pugs are always up for a party. Although a bit rare, pugs can be allergic to cats because pugs are brachycephalic, which means a small and flattened face. They do have trouble breathing. If your pug has an issue with feline dander, this will naturally make existing breathing problems all the more difficult. Some symptoms to be mindful of can include discharge from the eyes and nose, coughing and sneezing. Uh, a dry cough is often common. A breakout of hives on the skin and a little bit more scratching than usual. Unfortunately, if your pug is indeed allergic, the pair must unfortunately be split. Animal dander is quite stubborn and even a deep cleaning of your home will not protect your pug for too long. However, before you take urgent action, be sure your pug's reaction is due to dander. The last thing you want is to rush to an incorrect conclusion. Pugs can be allergic to a number of things, perfume, cologne, even their own food. On the flip side, 
Be very mindful of your cat's needs. Make sure they are not allergic to your pug's dander. Pugs are not hypoallergenic, and they shed quite a bit for their small stature. If your cat begins to develop any of the symptoms we just noted, especially in clusters, dander could be the culprit. While cats seemingly love to live, to hunt, and hunt to live, and <laughs> all that good stuff, pugs, yeah, well, they're not really big on the idea of stalking the prey. Your best bet is to meet the cat and the pug in the middle and share some of those common themes. In order to get both pets to play together, how about some treasure hunts? They're quite fun. Hide a strong-smelling treat that will attract both animals. Your cat and pug will likely form a good tag team to find that good food. Outside of the play, one of the best ways to bond the cat and the pug is through nap time and relaxation. Who knew, right? <laughs> Who knew? While cats are known to sleep for hours and hours and hours, make no mistake, when the pugs are ready to crash, they can do it with the best of them. Some lazy day comfort is often a good bonding tie. Provide a nice bed for your cat and your pug. While cats are quite territorial, and we'll address, we'll address that here momentarily. The more your cat's trust in the pug grows, the more that nap time could be open season. Hey, dog. Yeah, you, dog, come over here. Why don't you come over to my place and let's take a nap and relax. While we all know that cats love to stake their claim, this could produce some negative outcomes from time to time, especially early on in this pairing. Because pugs are not much for claiming territory or even really fully understanding what it all means, your dog could wander on over into a spot that your cat has claimed. And because of it, your pug could get a solid bop on the nose from your cat and leave wondering what in the world just happened. Pugs just sort of like to roam. They'll demand your attention and not really think twice about the cat. This could cause your feline to get a bit defensive and become quite unwilling to share you with the pug. Because one animal is very much territorial and boundary oriented, while the other takes the I'll hang my hat just about anywhere approach, it will be up to you to set some guidelines. This starts with individual food bowls, water bowls, bed, and toys that are independent of each other and a fair distance apart. Here again, pugs don't really know the rules of the road the way cats do in terms of claiming areas for themselves, so don't be shocked if your dog finds itself on the receiving end of a few paws to the head in that early going. It's just the nature of the beast, the territory cat and the happy-go-lucky pug. Something has to give, and it's usually the pug. <laughs> Learning some tough life lessons, courtesy of good old Garfield. When it comes to that all-important introduction process, age plays a big factor. As young as possible, that's the goal. Quality exposure at an early age can dramatically enhance the chances of a loving bond being formed. Both puppies and kittens are full of life and energy and very open-minded. Even those territorial cat tendencies are not fully developed at that early stage of life. This could be a big win as a cat and a pug growing up together could learn to share from the jump rather than a pug much later in life having to get used to a cat that has claimed more than likely the entire house <laughs> for itself. In terms of the order, it's best to bring home a young pug and then introduce a kitten not long after a pug in the house uh, is more willing to accept a kitten than introducing a pug to an established cat. Yeah, that's not really an option unless you want a real uphill climb on your hands. Slow and steady, it does win the race. That's the approach that you will need to have in terms of a formal introduction. Give both pets a meal and separate them with a barrier. This allows the cat and the pug to see and smell each other while eliminating that direct content and they can bond over their meal. They can bond over a, over a nice dinner together. When it's time for direct interaction, always be sure to supervise those early encounters. Consider keeping your pug on a leash while allowing the cat to approach. In terms of what to expect, if your cat ignores the pug, consider that, consider it an early win for all parties involved. As days turn into weeks and those weeks into months, trust will slowly begin to rule the day. Here again, when it comes to the most compatible dog breeds, pugs are near the top of the list. While that doesn't guarantee the perfect marriage, given the right age pairing, proper introduction, and a nurturing and loving environment, the sky can indeed be the limit in terms of a growing and wonderful friendship. And on that note, that will wrap things up for the video side of life. However, if you would like more information concerning Cats and Pugs and the Goal of Friendship, we do invite you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com. 
At the conclusion of today's presentation, there you will find a full-length and high-quality article dedicated to everything we've talked about here today and so much more. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, we encourage you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of the information. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.